I think as educators, it's really important when you're trying to change a school culture and you're serious about it and you're intentional about it to try to take some time to celebrate the days that go well. Sometimes those days are very lofty. There's something very dramatic that happens from a kid. And then there are other days that you have someone that's just willing to work with their algebra teacher who has never been willing to work with their algebra teacher. For me, one of those successes was coming into to the office, my secretary saying, Mr. Henderson, we have someone for you, which was what she commonly said. And I always asked the question, what are you down here for? And in this time, this gentleman was very upset, very tense, and says, I'm about ready to hit somebody. And I said, just to be clear, did you hit anyone? He says, no. I said, what are you down here for? Now, this is a person that had been sent to the office a lot, where someone else made the decision to send him down. But I wanted to bring it up here because this was a moment where our system and our practice and our skill building finally made it to the point that this young man came down because he wanted to carry that. He wanted to be the one and he wanted to work through this. And he says, Mr. H, I just need a minute. And I was happy to give him a minute, right? And in that moment for me, when we're trying to change a school culture, there was a celebration because here is a young man that has now learned a life skill he's gonna have forever, that he wanted to be the one that was the arbiter of this behavior. He wanted to be the one that was able to stop his own tendencies to cause chaos or mayhem or frustration, whatever he ran into. But in that moment, he was willing to say, you know what, I need a second to process, and I was willing to help him with that. And to me, that was a successful moment.